Hey everybody, thanks for checking in again with us. This is my buddy Will Skiff. He invited me to go out a couple weeks ago. This is actually the morning of the lunar eclipse we just had. So we actually uh, got treated to a spectacular sunrise on the way out. We met up at the Trails Inn public access and uh, got the boat in the water and ran up to the Masonboro Inlet and also uh, right after that we headed to the uh, Little Lollipop Bay. It was a fairly calm morning, uh, but once we got into the inlet you could see the waves started pushing in a little bit and it got a little bumpy. It was a, it was a pretty good ride. Once we got out into the inlet, we didn't really see what we were looking for. We were looking for some flocks of birds working. Uh, we didn't see anything like that. So we went ahead and turned around and headed on to the, the Lava Pop Bay. You can tell it's high tide. Uh, we actually had to take the fishing rods and, and lay them flat in the boat to get under these bridges. It was, it was pretty tight speed. So we got set up and we uh, we went way back into the, the docks there, and we fished these docks for you know 15, 20 minutes per section, and if we didn't produce anything. We moved on. Tried a little bit of top water because it was such a nice day, but uh, we didn't have any, any luck with that, so we moved on to some bottom fishing stuff, We're trying to target trout and flounder mainly. Definitely different standing up in a boat versus sitting down the whole day. Kind of like it. trying to work everything really super slow because we thought the bite might be a bit off just because of the moon phase and we didn't know how that lunar eclipse was going to affect anything if at all but it was uh, it was pretty slow my buddy Will was at the opposite end of the boat and he was using his popping cork uh, trying to work the docks and the edges also It's still probably 7, maybe 7.15 in the morning, so it's still fairly early. We've got a, a good half day ahead of us to see if we can catch something, so we're not super worried. So I moved up to a small grass inlet. Uh, I'm targeting that section you see right there at the point. You can tell that there's an eddy right behind it where the current's flowing past it. 
and I figured maybe some fish will be stacked up right there waiting for something to get washed by them. And got a couple of good strikes there, but I think, judging by what we had already caught, they were probably just lizard fish. I'm using the Z-Man uh, Glow Shrimp on a, I believe it was a quarter inch ounce jig head and using the Procure gel on there to give it a little extra effect. working along the bottom fairly slow. So enough fishing, we're going to start doing a little catching now. Uh, Will with his first flounder of the day. You gotta excuse the uh, shoddy camera work. I'm trying to run the net and the camera at the same time. I will get fish actually spit the hook right there, right inside the, the landing net, and got his his jig head all tangled up in there. It was kind of a, a cluster there for a second. Got his fish, and that's what counts. I wanted to show you this because you can see his technique when he when he's fishing for uh, basically we're it's almost like just checking out to see what's going on. Um, he's using a, a watermelon color soft plastic on a jig head and he's letting it sink, he pulls it up slowly and just keeps the line tight as the jig head falls back naturally to the towards the uh, floor. So hopefully whatever's around is interested and grabs it and by keeping the line tight you can feel whatever hits that, that jig immediately and set the hook. Now, apparently the watermelon was the way to go this day because I got skunked pretty much I uh, didn't bring anything home uh, but Will was on it and it was hot with that so here's his uh, second flounder a little bit bigger than the first Again, working the net and the camera at the same time. Sorry about the angles. I think this one measured close to 20 inches. It was a nice size fish. So we had to head on back, uh, Will had to work and I had some stuff to take care of too, but it was a good day. We appreciate you watching and uh, make sure you subscribe up so that way you can uh, always keep up with the, the next outing we have. 
tight lines.